evil Way too many fakes in my face, I can see the evils Drug addictions, bad bitches, they gotta be jokes See the Pico, black flags, it's all What's good, yo, we back RTTV What's good, yo, we back off TTV Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yo, do you have a new one um, for us? Too? Yo, it's crazy. I just like thought of one upstairs and I fully forgot it. That's actually crazy. What was the one from last time? They said they was fucking with it. Yeah, they was fucking with it. Yeah, I seen that. I got time. shit. I gotta go back to it. Damn. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It was like. Yeah. My, uh, I, think, I don't remember. I can't think of it right now. My mind has just fully went blank. I don't know, man. Well, we're on season four, episode, I think, five or six, one of them. Something like that. Um, and last episode, mm -hmm. Deku has a emotional heart-to-heart that Robbie, emo he fucking interrupted. I couldn't even hear yeah, what the motherfucker even, was saying. Why can't because Robbie was like, you know, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, you know, yeah, you know how I know was talking? Because <laughs> Patrick was actually the one speaking and shutting you down. You said, like, no, that was like, the argument. Like, that was the argument at the end. He saw what Deku was about to cry and shit. He's like, and he, this is really, the way that's crying. He's about to cry right now. He's about to cry right now. That's what I'm talking about. Patrick was arguing with me after the episode, Robbie. You were just trying to prove you. Yo, whatever, whatever. He said, Pat, I got one know. question for you. What's the question? Mine. Baby. <laughs> that mean that thing? Nah. <laughs> Is it that baby that thing? Are you going to cry baby like baby that cool? Are you going to cry baby like baby that cool? Oh, man. my comments is. That's Robbie's new thing. Are you a crying baby like baby that cool? <laughs> I don't even know where he found that voice. You know? <laughs> That's hilarious. Robbie's multi-talented when it comes to hating. But we're gonna get to it. <laughs> if it's your first time here, it's definitely gonna be a lot of victory, kill, murder, and smash. smash. That subscribe button. And if you wanna see more of our reactions to animes and live action shows, man, we got all that on our Patreon. The link is right down below. And make sure you give this video a like and have that notification bell ringing so when we drop a video, you hear about it first. Jabroni. Jabroni. Check yourself if you don't know me. Jabroni. Go back to the gym, you're too bony. Ready? It used to be my lifestyle, man. Yeah. Is that a villain group of fighting each other? Oh, what the fuck? It looks like Digimon. <laughs> why does it run? Why would they upgrade the animation? <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, she took a whole two on one. Yo, <laughs> oh, shit. Hey, hi. They're really in the field. That's what's up. Oh, they combined with combined their text together. That's fire. Oh, okay. Oh, she's that girl's from the big three, too. The current big three. Oh, are you right? Yeah, okay. You think the team is just for Oh, yeah. Yup. Those are probably oh, the two shit. super villains. <laughs> like, it's more like he just looks mad evil, my nigga. So you got the hand on your face. That shit's so cold. Man, wrinkles in his eye. Yeah. <laughs> All you see is one one eye, yo. Oh shit. 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 I feel you. Didn't he drop that? The first fight that they had, yo? It looks like the person who was using it can neutralize their quirk. So when they shoot that into you, mm. they can't use their quirk. Red, right, right, right. Yeah. That's a dope ass name. Yeah. It's all, yo, Kirishima's outfit is fire, yo. <laughs> That's what's up. I fuck with him. He has a good attitude about that, yeah. 
しかし全く使えなくする薬よう、ah, は聞いたことない嫌な感じやな,感じやな<笑> She's about to get dark my nigga お前名前ネットニュースにヒーローで乗ってるぞ I mean, 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 <laughs> yeah, my dog is so eating! I don't know what I'm doing. 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 He's emotionally connected to her. He feels like, damn, that's the one person that I let go that I didn't save. You feel me? Like, I think that's the thing. That's like, imagine a hero that all his, like, his sole purpose is save people, and then he has that one person, that one victim that he wasn't able to save, especially in a situation with, like, overall and shit like that. O overall. So I think that's why it's, like, such a clash in his mind right now. Like, damn, yeah, I want to save him, but then it's overall. Like, it's crazy. I feel him, though. I feel him. This episode, I love the fact that we kind of dove into the other characters, mm -hmm. and there's characters that we really don't get to see, um, like shine so much. We see Uraraka, but like uh, Fropy and like uh, we seen the Fropy episode before. It was a filler though. Ah, yeah, you're, you're right, right. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. I know what you're talking about. Though. <laughs> um, but especially with Kirishima, Red yeah, Riot, yeah, whatever. Yeah. This episode was, like shines so much on him. I really, I got to like like his character a lot more Me too. and his quirk ability. Like I just know that they showed us this for a reason. In the 100%. future, something's gonna happen with Kirishima, mm -hmm. and he's gonna shine. Yeah, it was dope too because it's like. I like the fact that we get in the minds of the other students too, because we see like the insecurities that they deal with and shit. Mm -hmm. Like you see with homie um with the octopus fingers, I forgot his name. Yeah, I can't think of it right yeah. now. Yeah. Well, um, with him and shit like that, he's nasty. Like the dude, um, fat even said like, "Yo, this dude has like powers and like just like the pros and shit like that." But his issue is mental weakness. Mm -hmm. So I like that's like a realistic thing is like people deal with mental weakness, and I think at a hero's perspective, mm -hmm. especially being young, you'll be over there like. In your head all the time, like yeah, I may be strong, but I don't have the charisma that All Might and these other heroes yeah. have and shit like that. So I like the, I like that, I like that we actually get to dive in their minds and shit, especially with uh, Kirishima too, yo. Yeah, he had that conversation. And I feel you on that. Like the, I think his name is Sunshine Eater or some shit like that. Yeah, it is. Sun, yeah, it is. Sun Eater. Sun Eater. Yeah, yeah, Sun Eater. I feel like um. Like he's a great hero, and he, every, when everybody when he saved the day, everybody was like, "Oh my God, Sunny, we love you!" And yeah. he can't even accept that because I feel like it's so hard trying to be the best hero or trying to be like a good hero when you seen the best do it already. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He just retired. Like All Might was the best hero ever, and I feel like that guy, like you were saying, like he, he don't have the mental capacity to kind of just be like, "Yeah, hey, it's hey. me." You know what I'm saying? He's always like feeling <laughs> down on himself. He's always and he really looks up to Mirio and All Might. You know what, yeah. what I'm saying? And Mirio is also his classmate, so it's kind of hard. To shy away from that when that person is so close to you. And that's okay. like, with those examples, you always just want to set yourself to... He's always setting himself to a higher standard. That's probably why he's, like, so much in his head so much. Like, yeah, it's like, I did this, but I could always do better. Like, this was okay. You might think it's crazy, but, like, I don't. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't. It's not crazy. I don't. And then, um, what you would call it, Red Riot, it was, just, it was dope to see him like turn up to like his next level being in such a tough situation that he was in right because mm -hmm. like at a point it's like once that dude popped in the quirk roids um <laughs> you thought you thought that he was gonna lose and then he's like nah nah fuck that fuck that fuck that fuck that and then he just turned up he digivolved because he looked like, a like <laughs> that shit was fire and like yo it's, it's like his evolved form looked so dope and the attack was just he just attacked so viciously. My only thing was, at the end, it was like, damn, you can't even continue to listen to this dude talk when he's in your face crying mm -hmm. because he already tricked you the first yeah, time. No like, <laughs> that's the only thing that got me tight. But aside from that, he still did his thing, though. He was acting like a baby Deku, um, the person he was fighting against. So I just feel like when niggas is crying, you can't. He used that as a weapon, and I feel like mm -hmm. at least... Deku could probably learn how to use it like that, but he don't use it like that. <laughs> and I say, like, you could use everything as a power, and that was a prime example of it being used as a power because he got, um, Red, what was his name? Red, Red Riot. Riot. Red Riot, uh, rioted a couple of times, so. <laughs> and even the scene where, uh, they were at the end where they're like, yo, the news is talking about you, is 
Like, you guys are this hero, that hero. And I feel like this world just reminds me of, like, a nicer version of, like, the boys. Like, because it's kind of, like, with the mm. heroes. Mm-hmm. And they get the... Like, we see it on our world, like, Instagram and stuff. And I feel like this world is... They really are heroes. And I just feel like, like, um, Homeland is probably, like, the evil version of my... Uh, so my hero of um, All Might. All Might. Mm-hmm. And Deku's definitely star girl. Always crying. And that's it. <laughs> <laughs> nice comparison. Great yeah. comparison, Rob. Yo, and uh, one thing that I really fuck with old D, my nigga, is the relationship between Overhaul and uh, Tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So, like, I feel like that's so ill because, like, I think they're starting to get to, like, an equal understanding. It's like, yo, bro. The we both villains. Huh? Yeah, we're both villains. Like, I don't get why we won't just converge. You you have your league of villains. Ooh, I got mine. Who's the best uh, villain duel? Villain duo. The villain duo. I mean, Akowski is the. Oh. <laughs> we haven't gotten there, yeah, so. Right. So, so you guys far. know who they are, right? You guys know they're a group, so they're definitely the best. But uh, my yeah. favorite for that I know of is uh, motherfucking Zeldris and Esterosa. They just look mad cool. Yeah, they just look mad cool together, yeah, and they're strong as shit, so, yeah. Yeah, it's funny you bring that up about the. Um, about Overhaul and cool. Tamora. Mm-hmm. Uh, because I feel like he tomorrow went in there. He's like, listen, you want the name the League of Villains because you want the notoriety. Yeah. And I'm saying you got a plan to go behind it. That's why I can't work under you. You know what I'm saying? Because you want what I want. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, I'm gonna come here with my terms too. So I I'll fuck with the fact that tomorrow went in went in there with a stance because when he was approached by Overhaul originally, mm-hmm. it was almost like he got sunned. Yeah. No, he did get sunned. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So he kind of went in there this time, like, all right, you ain't about to sun me, nigga. I got, I got a plan, too. Mm-hmm. And you got to tell me what your plan is. Yeah. And, and they tried to sun him again, and they put the gun to his head. They was getting ready to fuck him up. Then he looked at them like, yo, my nigga, what do you think I have to lose? You already yeah. fucked my team. Yeah. <laughs> fuck like, my yo, team, bro. What do you you stop think? disrespecting me, It's like, me, it's like what do you get <laughs> out of killing me right now? Just think, just think about this for mm-hmm. a second. Think about it for a second. Then he was like, you know what? You're right. Be on the same side. <laughs> and I think I think he's so smart because like he recognized what um what overall what an uh, inch of what overall plans on doing by figuring out like yo these needle shits right here takes out the court. You did that shit with my homie, mm-hmm. and I think that's what allowed him to even kind of like even feel like yo we should partner up with these niggas if they got something that strong. It makes us feel dumb as fuck to not even like work with them, my nigga. That's some shit that make our interests get there that quick and shit like that. So, like, I, I fuck with him on D to, like, swallow his pride and be like, yo, I got to work with this nigga over, you know? Mm-hmm. I think it's about to get crazy, though, my nigga. I think it's going to get crazy. If you can nullify somebody's quirk, like... Yeah. That's a done deal. <laughs> yeah, that's a done <laughs> deal. If you can get a shot on somebody, it's a done deal. So maybe that's why they, they um, intro Kirishina Red Riot mm-hmm. and the fact that he can't get hit by that because maybe he can act as a shield, uh, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yo. If he can act mm-hmm. as a shield where people are using these guns... Or um, these, these bullets or whatever, then maybe this, the heroes could, you know, fight back. Yeah. And that Steel dude from, like, Group 3 or whatever. Mm-hmm. Like, remember that Steel dude? He was in, I think, last season. Two I season think four. I remember what you're talking about. There's so many heroes we got introduced to, yeah. But what if they come up with some, like, what if that was, like, the test trial? You feel me? Like, all right, let's get one random-ass weak nigga to try to shoot these heroes to see how it works and shit like that in a real field. Mm-hmm. And they noticed that Kirishima was, like, he wasn't susceptible to getting hit. So they try to make another weapon that's more penetrable and stuff like that because of that test trial and shit. It's a good prediction, man. Good prediction. It's scary. We'll see what happens on these next few episodes of My Hero Academia. And on this season, this season looks like it's going to be a dark one. And for some reason, is going to die. Wow. I mean, they, pre- they said that he was going to die. Nah. So, he ain't dying. Yeah, <laughs> they want to twist fate together, so... Hopefully that happens, but... I don't think Midori is going to get a dunk, so that's my prediction for the whole season. The show's about him becoming the greatest hero. No, I, I didn't say get it done. I know. Because I'm saving all oh, my... Oh, oh, yeah, that's going to be the, the person. He's going to save the little girl and not all my... Something like that. Nah, that's, a, that's a fire. I like that right there. <laughs> that makes sense. Wow. That would be fucked up. <laughs> but that would be so lit. I'll show the yeah. darkness of the season right if that happened. That he'll rise up to the challenge. And find a way to do it. This is gonna be Midoriya's biggest challenge yet. My neck hurts. It's cause you punch yourself. But if it's your first time here, <laughs> it definitely won't be a last minute for you kill murder in Smash. Nah. Nah. That subscribe button. It's your boy Wells, the anime king. Stay tuned for more My Hero. Shout out to my nigga Red Riot. Red Riot. We said kill murder in Smash. You mean Detroit, Delaware, Smash?
Nah, nigga, I said what I said. Yeah, nigga. You wanna go head up, nigga? I'm Red Riot. Right. Deku cool wasn't in this episode. Ain't no Detroit, Delaware, yeah, Smash, nigga. Is Red Riot, nigga. <laughs> Red Gun. What was it? Red Riot Gun. Ready? Make sure you... Red Riot Gun! gun. He used a lot of old cards. So. He, he used, used a lot of old cards. That's a fact. Bruh, Pasha God see, Yo, overhaul. You still proving to be that nigga, bro. That invention you did there, doggy. That's some real that's some real diabolical shit right there. I rock with you, my nigga. Stay evil. Yo, it's the man the myth the maniac. Wilkins underscore RT. Like I said, Midori is gonna be faced with a challenge, but he's gonna rise up to the occasion. Midori gang. Shout out to Red Riot. He did his thing in this episode, yo. Are you crying, baby <laughs> like baby nigga? If you're not, man, make sure you, you call at us. You already know this. We're out to the RT dub game episode. Talk about these in credit recovery. Huh? Hey, yo, that settles it at <laughs> the round table. Hey, it's you there. Hey, it's Patrick on team, man. Make sure you follow us, man. Subscribe and all that. Round table clothing. Yeah, you rock with the videos, man. We got a whole bunch of everything around us right now, man. So make sure you subscribe down there and all that. Hey.